about to go live, boy. What's up, man? What's up? You like that? Okay. Yay! -o, we are live. What's up, Fabs and Besties? You are watching YouTube Live with Toya, Bella, and Bowie, Bowie who is being a little crazy because I put one of his favorite treats inside of the Kong and he can't actually get it out. But it was keeping him quiet until he got irritated because he can't get it out. So I don't know how long Boy will hang out with us today because he's a little bit overly excited at the moment. Totally my fault, but we're gonna carry on. So today is the Lunar New Year. So happy Lunar New Year. Really? Yes. Cool. And we have a Valentine's Day craft today because Valentine's Day is on Sunday. So we have a lot of holidays all packed into February. And yes, it's Black History Month as well. I did a video for that. We don't have a craft for it today. But today we're doing Valentine's Day. And for this craft today, I posted the supply list on our community tab and on Instagram. So what we need is a paperboard frame. You could have made this ahead of time by just cutting a rectangle and then cutting out the center. If you didn't make it, you might want to do it right now. So you just need a paperboard frame. Mine is doubled paperboard. I put two layers on there just to make it a little stronger. I also need some school glue. I know I never use school glue unless I'm paper mache but it really does help here. School glue. Then we need a glue stick and we need tissue paper. I have two shades of pink. They're actually pretty close to the same color, but they're a little bit off. And I think that really helps add a little bit of dimension to our project. So we have two different color paper here. I have a thin piece of cardstock. It really doesn't matter what color it is because this is going to go in the back to create handles. Jeez. Is he okay? He just coughed. And we can use a scrapbook paper. If you don't have scrapbook paper, you can use plain paper. I just wrote the word I love you like a billion times and printed it out. And that's what I'm going to use. And then a cotton swab. Now, this is going to be your tool for attaching your paper onto your frame. And we are making a little selfie frame like so. So I'm going to take my cotton swab and I'm going to cut the end off. So I have one kind of pointy blunt in. Pointy blunt, that's a contradiction. It's on a one, no, no <laughs> the wrong thing. So, oxymoron. Well, it wasn't even oxymoron, it's just completely wrong. Because well, it's not a pointy blunt, but. Pointy and blunt are pointy, opposite words. That's what I'm saying, I'm just. So it's an oxymoron. Okay, well, you just want to cut one of the end of the cotton swabs off so you can use it as a tool. Then all you're going to do is take your frame and Cover it with your paper. Now, the reason I cover mine with paper is in case I get lazy and I do not want to continue to glue all of the tissue paper on and I can just do a little bit and then be done. So this doesn't take me like hours. If you don't have the tissue paper, I mean, if you don't have the scrapbook paper or want to cover it, you don't have to. That's completely up to you. I'm going to do it as a fail safe. So I'm going to use my glue stick and cover my frame for a minute. While we're doing that, Bella over here is going to start answering questions. Yep. Um, someone said, do you like Ariana Grande? I don't really listen to her. I listened to Break Up With Your... No, it was Thank You, Next, the album. I did listen to that album when it came out. I was like in eighth grade, but I haven't listened to anything new, to be honest. Sorry. Yeah. I did see a question that said, well, who would you rather hang out with, Ariana Grande or Zendaya? Zendaya. Because I've had like... I don't know. She just... No, no, no! No, no! I've loved her since Shake It Up days. Let's just say that. I think that's my nostalgia behind Zendaya as well. But, you know, that was a long time ago. She's a completely... She's like an adult now, you know? She's so still we, cool. That's true. She's still super cool. But you can't expect for her to be like Shake It Up because... Oh, well, obviously not. Okay. Even though I loved Casey I've undercover, too. I've seen her new too. stuff. I know you <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite character for Zendaya has been definitely um, MJ... Right? M MK? MK? Really? Mary? From Spider-Man! Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You know what? I did love Spider-Man. That's not my favorite place. Mary, That's not Mary... my favorite Zendaya character. Her name is Mary Jane there, right? Mm-hmm. So she's MJ. There we yeah, go. Yeah, MJ. Ugh. She had a, did it, her show on HBO. I like her character on there. Would you recommend WandaVision? Yes. Now, I've, hasn't, I haven't seen today's episode. Because I know it comes out 
on Fridays, I think, right? I don't know, I watch them whenever I watch them. But I, the last one I saw had a crazy surprise at the end. I won't say anything, I won't give away any spoilers, but I was literally screaming like, what? Yeah, so very excited about WandaVision. You're distracting him. I'm sorry. Oh, that was my mouth. Okay, <laughs> very excited about WandaVision. Totally recommend it. But I liked Wonder no. Woman 84. A lot of people didn't. So take my recommendation how you want to take it, you know. Hey, so there's that. Okay, uh, what is your favorite place to go on a holiday? I don't actually like traveling. I like New York. <laughs> I want to like stay home and not go anywhere. Honestly, I would totally live in New York. Like 100%. Would live there. It's so weird because I used to love traveling, but I've traveled so much in the last couple years that I really just want to like hang out at home. Honestly though, I want to like move to South France. <laughs> you say the exact opposite of everything I say. I mean, bro, <laughs> the aesthetic, everything there just looks so good. It just looks so good. <sighs> Is Bowie our first pet? No. I've had dogs my whole life. Um, I was raised with boxers. That's the dog that we had a lot when I was little. And then my parents had like miniature pinchers. We had Caspian before Bowie and he was a cockapoo. He was a cocker spaniel poodle mix. My little rescue pound puppy. And um, he had some, we had some fun times. We never saw him as a puppy though, cause he was a rescue. He was probably like five or six when we got him. And um, Bowie's like my first puppy in a very long time. So that has been an experience. Just Someone saying. said favorite streaming platform and then people are asking if you have a TikTok. We have a TikTok, but I I scarcely, rarely, never really post on it. Um, honestly, I stopped using TikTok. Not, uh, it's just cause I kind of left TikTok. I, I, I didn't use it for like a week or not even a week. A week is leaving TikTok? No, 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 like it didn't leave, leave. But I didn't use it for like a week or two weeks cause I had to catch up with school and I was just busy doing other stuff, right? Bowie. He does not. Oops. Jeez. You okay? I'm sorry. I thought he was going to fall. I didn't want him to fall. What did you do? I just threw my scissors down because he fell off the edge of the counter. Oh. Okay. Come on. Get over here. I think we're going to ask Bowie to leave us today. So, anyone behind the camera? He doesn't have to leave. He's a bit much I'll today. I'll take care of him. Okay. Okay. Um, do you recommend Sparkle Girls or Barbies? Love you guys. So, I know Sparkle Girls has a really good following around the world or like in australia i don't remember exactly exactly where their where their home base is um sparkle girls are great if whatever doll brand you like is the doll brand you like i use barbie because that's what i've grown up with so um if you have sparkle girls everywhere enjoy sparkle girls it's a value option here in the united states and uh yeah so i don't know which one i would say is better I just go with Barbie because that's the one I've always had. Oh, someone asked how I have on TikTok. Oh yeah, basically if I left for like two weeks and then um, came back and my feed was destroyed. It was totally back to normal. Like like normal TikTok, like generic TikTok. Yeah. I had my feed curated perfectly to my interests. Perfect mix of anime, Attack on Titan memes, like fan art, like art in general, and then like, you know, like cool aesthetic videos and fashion videos, and then also the like K-pop and comedy and a little bit of political stuff. That's it, that's all I like. Oh, and like Marvel memes. But <laughs> came back, all of it was gone. It was just like someone rummaged through it and just destroyed it. I don't understand exactly how TikTok works in that aspect. I, if you so. have to, if I have to like frequently go and interact with my feed in order to keep it the same, I'm not doing it. Isn't I that give up. how like the supercomputers that know us work though? Yeah, but I, I don't care that much. <laughs> I have Instagram, YouTube, and that's really all I need. I don't even use Twitter. I have confusing. a Twitter. It's just linked automatically to my YouTube. I don't even and know how just, to use it. <laughs> I haven't been on there in a minute, so. Um, a lot of people say that Twitter is better than Instagram, though. Because, like, twi a lot of Instagram is just Twitter posted to Instagram. All of my Instagram posts would be twi will go to Twitter. I don't know. It's up to you. Whatever you like. I, have, I like Instagram. I find it user-friendly, and so that's what I mainly use. Outside of uh, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, I like Instagram a lot. Are you ready for the WandaVision finale? <gasps> Is that all ready? Is that time for the finale already? How many episodes has it been? Do not tell me. I don't have a show soon because I'm going to go crazy. 
We're trying to lure Bowie out of there. You can just just come and get him. <laughs> he knows you don't yeah. have anything. He knows you don't have anything. Um, come on, more questions. Okay. Um, would you ever want Bowie's haircut? Would I ever want? Mm, yes and no. So we cut Bowie to cut Bowie's hair to maintain his style. Um, the hairstyle that's traditional to the Chinese crescent is one of the main drawing points of why I really, really wanted this dog. So it's this beautiful mane and then this beautiful, you know, tail. He had feathers, but we, those didn't last and they were just dirty and he was tracking stuff into the house. So we trimmed off his feathers at the bottom of his legs, but the mane is nice. But the only problem with that is when we take him on walks, the mane, if it gets any longer, it's going to start dragging on the ground and then it's going to get gross. So we probably will have to keep his hair cut to maintain this style. Yeah. Does that answer the question? I think his hair is cool. The whole, he has like a cool layered, like bowl cut and mullet type thing going on. I love it. I would totally do it. Not to mention the coloring, he has like the one black part and like white hair, it's such I a weird thing. I think though, it's like, okay, so we got Bowie thinking he was like a white dog with a black spot and he's slowly turning black. So I think the black hair coming in at the roots is the new hair and eventually the white hair might be gone or sparse. You think so? I don't know because it's like, it's growing. So I don't know, I think soon he's going to have more black hair interspersed with the white hair. The dog is changing y'all, he's like a chameleon dog. Okay, so that's actually kind of cute already by itself. Just saying. I just finished covering my frame and it has the words I love you all over it. It can already totally work as a little selfie frame, but we're going to take it a step further and we're going to add tissue paper. So hold on a second, you. Um, I've got my tissue paper here. This is a little bit of a tedious part. What we have to do is cut the tissue paper into about half inch squares. So go ahead and take some time to do that because if you have more paper cut, it's just easier to just add it on than stopping to have to cut paper as you go. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut my tissue paper. I like to cut like a decent size section. Oh, uh, that was like layers and all weird. And then I'll cut it in half. Then I'll stack them and then I'll cut it in half again, stack them. I think you get the gist of what I'm doing here. Cut it again and then I'm going to cut these into little smaller squares. Yeah. All right. Someone said, um, do you have any favorite art YouTubers? Oh, did I even like say anything? <laughs> Someone said, do you have any favorite art YouTubers? I watch Ergo Josh. He has really cool like um, advice videos. Not to, not like art specific tutorials, but like art experience videos, that makes sense. Like art philosophy type videos. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like what you, it's kind of like um, just like talking about art. Yeah. Okay. It's a giant conversation. And he has like his voice is like ASMR. It's insanity. It's just literally like you fall asleep. So yeah, he's great. Also, there's another person called, um, Sphinx, Sphinx, Sphinx Design, I think. Mm -hmm. He's cool too. Yeah. He confused the crap out of me. Cause like he, um, he, uh, only uses like certain, certain brushes and, and things like that. And just the way he talks about art is really complex. And he does like, um, tutorials and stuff and he just, it's one of those people, I guess, that use a lot of like, big words to describe things, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you know the word of just if you know the word to describe something, use the word. I hate it when people like try to shame you for using like large vocabulary, like <laughs> just because you don't know it doesn't mean it's not cool. You know that's so funny because when you were in a ba when you were a baby, I didn't believe in teaching you like baby words. Mm -hmm. I taught you the real words, and so instead of saying like binky or anything like that, she literally said pacifier. You know, and I've always been exceptional, guys. <laughs> so people were like, why is this little kid saying pacifier? I was like, because that's the word for it. And so someone was like, well, if she could say pacifier, she shouldn't have one. I was the kind of parent that said, you know, she'll give it up when she's ready to give up. And she literally did. She threw it out of a window. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that was one thing I agree with. Yes, use the correct terms because you got to learn it anyway. It all, it all goes into your education. Did Someone said, do you like to uh, bake? Uh, I no. don't. Not really. Not so much that useful in a kitchen. I like to have people cook for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, though, you're going to go to college in like, uh, 
How much time do we have? I don't know. At the moment, my dad is our personal chef, so I'm not complaining. I'm putting that off as, as long as I need to. I can just call him if I need help. So it's like, why mess with a good thing, right? Like when, when like you move out nowadays, you're not like moving out, moving out. Like you can still FaceTime. I can still FaceTime you, and call you and text you. You know? Yeah, but you if you're far, you, how, we can't cook for you unless you come home. I come home, steal food, and go back. That's how that works. You what? have to be within I'm staying a, in state. Like you're staying for that in state. reason. There's colleges that are like four hours away. The one I'm going to, I want to go to, is only like two hours away. Okay. All right. We'll see how that goes. I want to go to school in the city, but the school that's in the city, I don't want to go to. <laughs> so I got to go to this college town out of the middle of nowhere. It's actually not that bad. It's pretty, <laughs> but it's not Atlanta. That's for sure. You know, you haven't been there yet. And plus, I, I and haven't besides, been there. You are yeah. totally Greek life. Yes. You are in college to learn. You're not in college to hang out. <laughs> That's a solid seventy five percent of college. That's why I'm working so hard now. You see, the only reason why I say so that I is because get in there and hang out. I literally did nothing but study in college, and I had a boyfriend who's now my husband, and I drove home every single weekend to see him. So I never hung out really in college. I just did my homework so I can go home, and when I went home, I could wash my clothes for free. Mm -hmm. Because my parents, you know, washer and dryer. And then I could um, steal their groceries. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I did, man. But my thing is, I'm going to have to find somebody in college. Because high school isn't really serving any options. Like, even if we go back to school, still no. That's not happening. You know, you have time. You have time. I'm just going to Let's get not a dog. Listen, that's even a bigger headache. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> to each its own. At least it can't talk. You know what I mean? All right, now that I have all of my little pieces of paper cut up, this is my tissue paper. If you do not have colored tissue paper, you can always use toilet paper. Probably tissue, like Kleenex might be a good um, substitute, but it'll just be white. But with Kleenex and stuff like that, you could use like a pink, a light pink marker and rub it over the edges and it'll might create a little bit of a gradient. So that might be really nice, nice too. Someone said, who's your favorite character on Kicking It? It was definitely Jack Leo Howard's character because I had a massive crush on him, like forever. Yeah. That was not my favorite character on Kicking really? It. It I was, was the, the, the chick that was living. What to do, girl? Oh my god, this is Jerry. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> he was hilarious. And That's also the the nerd with red hair. I don't remember the name. I don't remember his name either. But he had like honors lunch. I remember that being a joke. Honors lunch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He was cute. I liked him. Okay, so now that we have the frame cut out, someone I'm said I'm in art college and it's terrible. I will take your advice on that. School is great. Art college might be a different. Well, it's environment. still school. It's an advan It's a. It's a. It's, it's a gift that not everyone has. So you know, I say, do the best you can. But if it does suck, it's okay. Talk about it. Because <laughs> it does suck. <laughs> That's true. Okay. If if you don't like Never something, you can something more than AP. Oh, <laughs> you can't talk about it. Okay. All right, so now that I have my frame, I'm going to use the wet school glue and I'm going to apply it directly onto my frame. A nice thin layer. And then you take your cotton swab. So we call it a Q-tip, but a Q-tip's a brand, so we're saying cotton swab. And then we're going to put the tissue paper on the end. I like to give it a little bit of a twist. And then we just push it right into the glue. And mine's not staying because my glue's too wet. Bad demo here. All right. If you let your glue dry a little bit so it's a little tacky, this does work a little better. And once again, we're gonna take the tissue paper, put it on the end of the cotton swab. I know you all remember doing this in kindergarten, right? And then you're gonna just push it onto the frame and it should stay. There we go. Voila. Is this too far away? Here, let me show you a little closer. All right, can you see this? So you just put it on the frame and then we're gonna just cover as much as we can with the tissue paper. This is a very, very tedious activity. It's a great way to spend some time watching a show like the entire season of Summer in Cali. Catch up because I plan on releasing another one, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Don't hold it to me, I mean, don't hold me to it because I'm horrible at scheduling, but I do plan on putting out a Summer Kelly on Saturday. 
Someone said, uh, favorite anime? Death Note. And then Attack on Titan. And then, I guess, Demon Slayer. It's good. Demon Slayer was good, but I compare everything to the best thing I've ever seen. So... But in the best thing you ever seen was it, like okay so like we watched Death Note right and I hadn't seen Death I hadn't seen Demon Slayer when we watched Death Note and, but everyone like is like oh my god Death, I mean, Demon Slayer is so good so good it's like going crazy about that anime and it was good but after watching Death Note it just did not well you know it's to each its own though because emotion and plot was not as like Demon Slayer complex. to me gave off kind of like the we have an adventure every episode kind of thing. And it kind of gets resolved, even though some stories or fight scenes, you know, carried over. Whereas it was cool art, definitely. I did like the art. It was really good anime to watch, but it didn't get me. It didn't make me feel things like Death Note did. Well, Death Note was just a whole different. First of all, it felt like an action anime without really having a bunch of action. And bro, the pen scenes. And he was writing <laughs> names in a book. He was writing, <laughs> and the tension is just like eating potato chips, and you're like. Oh my god. How do you write with a pen? And it's just like, it feels like a sword. Because it's just giant, like, crazy plan the whole time. And it's just feel like, I love I love it when um, shows have, like, crazy overarching plans. Or overarching plots and stories. And each episode is just building on top of that. Instead of, like, oh, we're on a new adventure. But, like, there's stuff in the background going on. You know? Well, like, there's little hints, but new adventure every episode. I'm it really it kind of felt like uh, one really long movie. Like, you know that show Legacies? Don't talk about my legacy. Man. I don't like that show. I don't. I don't want to talk to you about that. Vampire Diaries is amazing. I still like. And liked, I don't understand what happened. <laughs> I still liked Legacies. I still like Legacies because the nostalgia of the crossovers. So I'm not gonna listen to you. Yeah, but nostalgia is not enough to make me to make me keep watching. Nostalgia is all I have these days. Okay. <laughs> That's One why I, I really like political shows because a lot of times, or like political dramas, I guess, because a lot of times there's like this. They have, like, these crazy, like, schemes going on. You know, there's a ton of drama and a ton of scheming. I can't do the political shows at all. Designated Survivors. So I just can't do it. Um, it says, can you make a doll hotel? Uh, sure. We can, that's been on our to-do list for a minute. So we can definitely try our best to get to that. So back to the craft. We are right here. So I'm just literally Gianni. putting the... I'm literally just putting the tissue or paper. Gianni. Sorry. I mispronounced everybody's name. Hello from Italy. Hello. Okay, so we're putting the uh, paper on the edge, and I'm just going to do as much as I can while we are doing this live, and we'll check back in on the craft to see where we are at the end. But speaking of Italy, I am obsessed. <laughs> like, literally obsessed. With Italy? Yeah. I Because wa I watched Climb by Your Name and then now I'm obsessed with it. Didn't you just say you're obsessed with the south of France? I'm also obsessed with south France. Okay. It okay. gives me the same vibe, Loki. To be honest. Like, I don't know. Something about the, like, the hills and the, the... Like, I don't know. The house in that movie was like super open. And there was like this, like this crazy cool villa. And like the town and the bikes and the grass. The trees and the tangerines. <laughs> trees oh my God. and the tangerines. Tangerines were a big thing. A big thing in that movie. <laughs> uh, can you so make sad, though. more Sailor Moon dolls? Funny you should ask that. I'm not going to give anything away, though. But we have some plans for that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how that goes. Shout out to Evelyn. What's up? Do you still have a horse? We still ride. We saw Johnny um, last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do videos of where you are switching a rainbow high doll to a Barbie? So, about that, I was about to do a video of a head transplant, but I only like doing head, trans head transplants on my dolls if I have more than one doll. And right now, I only have one of all of the rainbow high dolls. And then we go into the sparkly face thing. So they have a lot of pearlescent kind of thing on their face. So I wouldn't really want to transfer those as much. I mean, I've seen it done. There's actually a, a fantastic uh, Instagrammer uh, by the name of Aggressive Barbie who has done this. And if you're on Instagram, you can go check out his page. He has put um, the rainbow high head on the doll. And I was going to, and then I saw his pose, and then I didn't because I didn't want to... To seem like I was taking his Hello, idea. Hello, Jamaica. I want to go to Jamaica. So, 
if he gives me permission to do it, because I feel like now that I've said this, I need to ask for permission, then I will totally show um, how I would do a transformation. But if you want to see what it looks like, it's on his Instagram. Hello, England. I want to go to England, too. That'd be quality fun. I've been to England. I'm still, like... The airport. Really? That's it. I never left the airport. I don't know why, but, like... <laughs> like... The England... Like... I don't know. The European cities just seem so appealing for some reason. <laughs> You're just like so anti. No, but like, I love New York. Like I would live in New York right now. No, not right, right now. Right now? <laughs> no. But like I would move there totally if it wasn't so expensive. But I mean, but those other cities are really expensive too. So. I like to visit cities, but I'm definitely a suburban country life kind of person. I want to so. like go all over the place. City so. mouse, country mouse. I totally want to go to Nepal. If I mean, if everything's okay down there, <laughs> over there. But yeah, Buddhist temples and all there, all that in Nepal would be super fun. I think. Do you like Minecraft and or Among Us? I like Minecraft. I'm kind of obsessed with Minecraft right now, but I don't play it, which is weird. Cause, but also like I really like mods and texture packs. So like I don't really know all the names, but like like the RTX like sort of things where they're like crazy realistic. I like watching those videos, and they have like all the shaders and things. Yeah, I like watching those. I watch a lot of like Minecraft speed builds, um, and tutorials. But I don't. I literally don't play Minecraft. I would, but I think like, I don't know. I want to play Sims a lot more than I do. But it's like either Sims or draw, and usually I'm drawing. So yeah, time is a funny thing. You can only use it once. You have to pick and choose. I played Among Us once for the video, and played I haven't once, played yeah. when uh, haven't played since. And Minecraft, the way the camera moves makes me nauseous. So that's my that's the only reason why I don't watch I don't do Minecraft videos. Um, can you do more Rainbow High? We did a Rainbow High video. It's out there. We even did Rainbow High lockers, and the video is kind of just like trugging along. So Rainbow High people show up. I'm just joking, <laughs> but seriously. <laughs> if you could be on your favorite show movie, what would it be? On as an actor, as an actor or act or actress, I would be um, on like in the MCU, totally. But like in as in you're in that reality. Oh, it needs to be like happy place. Then I'm picking like Degrassi. <laughs> like, Are you serious? I don't, or something like. Because that's like well, horrible that's, too. That too. <laughs> but. I'm picking like a well, good comedy where the, no one gets hurt. The Degrassi rerun, like the redo on Netflix. That show is actually good. If I had to live in a TV series, I'm going to go with like Half and Half or Girlfriends. Where oh, life just carries better. on, but nothing bad ever actually happens. Yeah. If I can just be an actor on a show, I'm going to be on Picard. Because I get to hang with Patrick Stewart. I want to be in a Spider-Man Spider movie. Just because. <laughs> just because. Just because. Like, I'll just be an extra. No particular reason. In the back somewhere. Uh, where did you get the mini Toya doll? I made her. She is Barbie Fashionista 123. I want to say, I want to say that's the number because I just bought like three of them because I needed extras. Um, so I think she's a Barbie fashionista, one, two, three, and she is on the Made to Move soccer player body, which I think is similar to the new yoga body with the green outfit. Don't quote me on that because I just got it. I have to hold them to each other to see if the color match is good. And I rerooted her hair using a sock yarn, wool-free sock yarn. Um, there is a video called Custom Toya and Bella, and I show you the entire transformation on YouTube at Muff Ruggy Stuff. What's up, Emma? How you doing? Okay, what's the next question? Are you indoor or outdoor people? Indoor? I mean, depends what we're doing. If we're chilling, I'm staying inside, but I, I like to exercise outside. So when it's bad weather, it's hard for me to exercise. Yes, because horses. I love horses. Also, like, walking and hiking and stuff. Like, quarantine really put a damper on our activity because we do a lot of, like, outdoor activities. So. I could, I can, like. And traveling. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm a both kind of person. But, um. You don't realize how much you work out when you're walking around places. Yes. My speed walking was, like, top notch. Yeah. And my <laughs> high school, like, the campus is humongous. So, you have to walk, like. Not crazy distances, but sometimes you have like 
class on one side of the campus and another one on the other the whole entire other side of the campus you have to like walk across and um you do get a lot of steps like a lot more than you realize i can imagine because you're yeah. walking your campus is pretty spread out yeah um when did you start drawing bella i've been drawing my whole life i've always been into art i've always like yeah i've always been into it and always did it but i started like being really serious about it when i got an ipad so like 14 yes yeah roughly literally 14th birthday like literally and did you know the ipad she uses now is actually my ipad because she stole it from me you don't use it so i, I didn't have a chance to use it okay you did have a chance i did to it. Use it i was using my ipad but because i don't use it as often as she thinks i should use it she confiscated it and that's not fair because i work a lot so i can only use my ipad sometimes and when i went there to go get it one day it was gone and it was in her room she took the charger and everything she yeah. just set it all up in her room like it was hers I did. Not cool, man. So, what's the drawing tips? Um, I don't know. There's a lot because for everyone, it's different. Like, personally, I mean, just from, like, watching people. Like, I have, I have a few friends who, like, before quarantine, I was, like, teaching them how to draw things. And I would, you know, tell them things. It's, like, I've seen a lot of people, like, hold their pencil, pencils a certain way. Like, hold your pencil kind of makes a big difference because you can have more control over it. Well, I hold my pencil weird. Yeah, you do. And I that's how I draw, too. Personally, I like to hold my pencil really lightly. Like, be really flexible with it, the way the pressure, because pressure's a big thing. It's just knowing how to, like, balance balance the... I mean, at least digital art-wise, I have to know how to balance pressure. And, um, because pressure will affect the thickness of the lines and the, the width of the lines and all that sort of thing. I'm thinking traditional art. Other types of art will be different, like painting. I can't paint for my life. Like, I literally cannot paint. I can't even, I can't sculpt. I can't paint. I can't craft. I can just make 2D things. <laughs> well, you can use Blender. So, I actually can use Blender. I'm actually kind of good at that, to be honest. Yeah, you're learning Blender. Again, right. 2D, but, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm trying to give cool. you some credit, you know. <laughs> uh, someone said Target or Amazon. Target. If I could buy everything I want and have it delivered from Target, I would. Um, Amazon just gives me a lot of times a greater range, but the pl prices fluctuate. So I prefer Target all day, every day, because I know that if the MSRP says $19.99, I'm paying $19.99 with Target. The only problem with Target is that it's geography based or whatever regionally based and if that item isn't within like the vicinity of your local store sometimes you can't have it like there'll be the Maya Angelou Barbie doll in California but I can't buy it because I'm over here in Georgia and they won't ship it to me so that's my only problem with Target yeah uh baby Yoda or Briars oh that's I would take a real baby Yoda over anything Real Baby Yoda, okay. Or Groggle. Grogu. Grogu. Groggle. I would take a real Grogu over anything. Because, think about it. Perfect weapon. Um, Perfect. So it's, when it, little, it's a little dangerous little machine. Yeah, with a brain a, of its own. It has a face of an angel. So this is a person who has not watched Mandalorian. I haven't. And hasn't seen Grogu working his magic on people who aren't expecting it. But he only did so, it once, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he only did it once. I then if he only did it once, I saw it. I'm just saying between Grogu, up, just Grogu and Briar. I'm going with the Briar because the Briar is not going to choke me. It's not gonna choke <laughs> you if it trusts you. You it gotta know trusts who how it, it, it only trusts one person. Manipulate it correctly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Manipulate the baby. <laughs> that yeah, baby? it's not a baby. It's like fifty. It's a fifty year old baby. That's Ages not differently. A thing. <laughs> it's a thing in Star Wars. <laughs> Love you too! Oh, I'm by so fast. Do you watch Powderpuff Girls? I watched Powderpuff Girls like OG style when it was out a long time ago. Haven't watched it since and I don't remember a lot of it. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Honestly, so I took the actually so I don't know. I think I'm honestly I think I'm in I'm not in between. Like I'm more introverted than I am extroverted. But I do like to talk to people. I only, but I only like to talk to people I like to talk to. I'm not talking to everybody, you know. She's like, you gotta be special for me to talk to. I'm you. not saying that, but there's certain type of people that I like, and there's certain type of people I don't like. And usually I can tell. 
<laughs> well, I think most people so, are that way, right? Huh? I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, some people, like, I have a friend who's, like, she's extremely extroverted, and she will literally talk to anyone. I will not. I would rather be alone than talk to some people. So, you know, I can, depends. I think I can talk to almost anyone, I mean, but I can, always feel thing. awkward doing it. Yeah. Like, I'm not shy. Like, you're not shy, but... I'm not shy. Yeah. But I will probably say something wrong and ruin the whole mood. Um, it all depends on, like, I don't know if what type of... Like, I'm not, like... The the type of social I am at school is kind of different than how I might be other places. Because depending on what's happening, you know what I mean? So, like, at school school projects, when I'm not doing it with people that I particularly like, I will kind of just take over the whole thing and just use them for, like, looking like they're doing something. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if I'm with my friends and, like, in our classes that we have together, and I know my, my friends are freaking geniuses, so I kind of just let them do whatever. Or even if I'm, like, with other people in those same classes that are usually really smart, I mean, it's easy to make friends with people that are respectable, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say I'm probably a closet introvert. Like, I would, I prefer... Your closet I introvert. I am. I'm a closeted introvert, but I can be very extrovert if I have to, especially since, you know, I have talked to people and stuff like that. Um, the weirdest things that happen is when you're trying to be really nice and out there and talk to people and they're scared of you. <laughs> like when fans sometimes, like, oh. you know, a fan comes up and they're just like, they want to talk to you, but then they're just kind of like... Yeah, and you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And so I usually was like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I just hope you have a great day. So that's usually what I do yeah. when things get awkward. So Someone said, do you think you draw hands good? I think I draw hands good. I think I could be better. I could be better at everything. I was actually thinking you should pop consider uh, a frog food, maybe a couple little tutorials. Yeah, I think that's I mean, cool. it's, just, it's, it's totally your show. I'm not going to try to tell you what Honestly, to do. I think Honestly, I, I think like I would try to like talk about it in the simplest way possible so people can like really understand it you know what i mean by the way have you all seen the latest frog food exactly you should go watch it <laughs> that's what you should do but i think uh like maybe one or like every once in a while mix in a tutorial i yeah. don't know i mean what do y'all think i would have to figure out how to film it and you just film you, you i would film you while you're doing it and you're drawing it and you're recording your screen while you're talking mm -hmm. and actually drawing real time i'm gonna start using clip studio paint See what goes on with that. Yeah. So we're changing up software no, in the middle of the I'm video. I'm gonna see what it's about because I know, bro, the brushes, the G brush. I can't find a G brush or Procreate, and the G brush on there is fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Well, all you gotta do is record your screen, and, and you I turn the what, use whatever you turn the burnt edges up, want. and it's like, whose okay. phone is that? I don't know. Random no, people. stop it. You turn the burnt edges up. <laughs> You it's got glasses? Amazing. So, okay, so L Bucket says they got glasses. Congrats! Welcome to the glasses group. Even though Bella left us when she's on camera. Yeah. I try to go without my glasses, and I just can't see, so... <laughs> you just can't see. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Um, do you eat frogs? Negative. Vegan. No. I am vegan. I, I Or whole food plant-based. Because, you know, vegan people start thinking of other things. But so I said, do you have more life. skills in crafting and drawing? Yeah, I'm really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, um, okay. I mean, that's a skill, right? <laughs> Common sense. It's a skill. Super confidence. Yeah, man. Be confident. I love it. I mean, it's not a lie. I am super smart. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses are awesome. They just add, you know, something extra to your face, man. That's what I'm saying. It's like an accessory. Glasses are awesome. What other skills do we have? I'm really trying to think. I think drawing is the main thing I can do. What other skills do I have outside of crafting? Is that what you're asking? You're social. That's in, in charismatic. That's a skill. Sometimes. Because when the jokes aren't funny, it's just awkward. <laughs> but you know how to recover quickly. I walk away. And you're easy under pressure. <laughs> you, you focus under pressure really easily. I'll be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to walk over here. And you're going nice to with you. I don't know why animals like me. That's the weird like thing. <laughs> it's a weird... Animals and like... But not babies. Babies don't like me. But toddlers do. Baby babies? Baby babies I and I say, can't... I can't. Like, toddlers are adorable. But newborns look kind of gross. They look <laughs> slimy. <laughs> you mean like bit. brand newborns? Like until they're five. <laughs> 
toddlers are in that group. Okay. Five to ten is the adorable age. And then you get to twelve and it's like oh. I'm gonna say I kindergartners are the best though. They laugh at are everything. Great. They're so sweet. They, unless, unless they're evil. Well kindergartners unless you get an evil one. And like first graders, they think I'm so funny. They're like the best. All I gotta say is like <laughs> evil little kids are like the are evil, evil. What are you talking about evil little kids? You've never met like a malicious kid. <laughs> when I was a kid, I met quite a few, but I was an adult. One, kind of. Not so much. What? I think it was a little malicious. A little you crazy. were not. You don't think so? Oh my goodness. When you I were... mean, the stuff that went on in my head is just... <laughs> you were the sweet... She... If y'all saw Bella was back it? then. I think maybe I was just like, Actually, they, they... No, they actually... Well, you were doing Darby Show back then. Yeah. But in like elementary school... She was the sweetest little person. She was adorable, and she was. I was always in drama. So what are you protect- talking about? No, that was like middle at school, school and fifth grade. No, I, I'm t- I'm saying like, for like kindergarten to like fifth grade, kindergarten like kindergarten fifth grade. I was in kindergarten out here burning people. What? <laughs> you are making stuff up. I am not. I was. I. I am. I am not proud of it. You are the sweetest little to nicest. You. Thing. Oh. Okay. I've always been like. But like, if I don't like you, I don't like you. <laughs> Let's just move on before you ruin I've been my able to entire tone it down thing. A lot. I can definitely way more cordial now. But Please, that, I would be like, I'm not gonna be friends with you anymore. Like, girl, shut up, <laughs> stop. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, mini brands or Shopkins Real Littles. We actually did a video on that. We have a mini brands versus a Shopkins Real Littles, and I like both. I think they both give us. Um, some really good things we get different brands with the different companies i do like how many brands are like their whole purpose is to just look like the brand whereas the shopkins mini packs are also kind of like a shopkin kind of thing like they're big enough to hold a shopkin so that can throw off the scale sometimes but i really really like both of them and then you throw totally tiny into the mix which for some reason i have a very hard time finding and i love totally tiny because it's not a brand it's the actual product so we can get like you know sushi and we can get donuts and cookies and waffle makers and there's a set out that's called the french waffle, breakfast waffle, which i've been looking waffle, for and i can't find makers. anywhere and so i'm still like scanning the world for totally tiny if you see them let me know on instagram or in the comments because i love totally tiny but to answer your question i like all of them mini brands shopkins and totally tiny um Someone said, why are my videos called frog food? And then someone else said, do you like summer or winter? I like summer. If you like winter, like, you're crazy. So I answered that question for you the other day. My mom asked me. Like, no, my like mom said. Being cold physically? Not that. My, I, mom, like, wanted, my mom wanted to know, why did you call the show frog food? And I don't know if this is true, but I was just thinking off the cuff. And I know she's listening to me now, so she knows I kind of made it up. But... I was like, it's food for the artistic soul. No, that's not why I made it. Okay, Something well, like that. that was the answer I just I did it because it needed to be related to my party stuff, but I wanted it to look cool aesthetically. Mm -hmm. And the double O's is cool for design purposes. So there was nothing deep about it. It was all superficial. No, it's pretty much like there's like a <laughs> lot of circular letters, and it just looked nice to me. Some le some words look really nice. You should like go milk. with my reasoning. Milk looks so good. <laughs> it's just a good looking word. You know? At least mine brought you back to art, but okay. Or like, whatever. Or like, what else is a good looking word? Doodle? It's Copper. A good looking word. Copper? You know what? Another, you know the company Behance? No. Uh, amazing word. That's just an amazing word. How are you all doing on your boards? I got that much done and I got this much done because I know I'm not going to be able to finish this whole thing. So I'm just sticking with the corners. Like the thing is crazy. Like when you're downloading fonts, you'll think that, oh, like the thing I'm doing this for is going to look great in this font because the font looks cool. No, it depends on your word, my friend. I think some depends words are word. really pretty. Like made Tommy. That's a nice word for really curved. Made Tommy. Made Tommy, all caps. It's a font, but it's a really, really nice, like, you know? Like, yeah, man. Phrase. I, I don't know. It doesn't mean anything. Also, wavy with two A's or three A's, great. And, like, <laughs> yellow is a nice word, too. This is all personal preference, though. People, my, some people might think I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> I love fonts. How much time do you spend thinking about how fonts? words look? A lot of time. All right, I like it. Half of my Instagram feed is typography. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, it says something part watercolors. I didn't see the rest of it. 
Oh, paint or watercolors? Me personally, I'm gonna go with paint just because I'm more familiar with it. I would love to know how to do watercolors better. I'm just haven't had the time yet to learn it. So I said, um, what is something that you really like that you think is boring? Something that I really like that I think is boring. Like you can talk about it for hours, but people were like, shut up. I can talk about dolls for hours. I think that's boring. And unless, though. well, if you're not a doll person. It's like a really niche thing that like doesn't like you wouldn't think about, but it's pretty cool. If people know a lot about it. So boring is subjective because one person thinks something boring, another person doesn't. Okay. But in my personal life, I don't have a lot of doll fans around me. So I often have to go to the doll community like YouTube and Instagram to talk to people who like talking about things that I like talking about, which are dolls. And so I, because you don't want to talk about dolls all day. I'm going to cut you on I don't know anything about it. Well, see, there you go. If I just go on and on and on talking though. about dolls, you'd be like, um, let's talk about Jungkook. And then the conversation just changes. I never, the one thing. And then I say, me, Jungkook is a doll. You should know that I rarely <laughs> talk about BTS people who aren't BTS fans. Like I never do actually. So what is something that you like that others might find boring? Uh, art. Well see, it's exactly, a lot of people like art. So but it, like people that talk about art are different than people who just like, like looking at good art. Like, when you, like, look at something and you're like, okay, so me talking about hands, right? I'm having a hard time with, like, I, I like, really pale tint skin tones where they have a hint of blue in them because you got to know where to put the blue. Like, so I've seen things where they put them on the palm and then you kind of, like, and also there's a technique where you can carve out shadows by putting, like, a shadow and then a really light color directly next to each other. So then, you, but you fade out the dark shadows and it looks way more curved than it would if it did otherwise. That's also something I noticed that more professional artists do and the amateur artists don't do. So I've been really trying to do that because my worst fear is looking like an amateur artist. I just look like whatever level I'm at at the time. I don't think I put any thought into that level of thinking that you do. I just do. Really? I dissect everything. I, I can't. If I dissected everything, I would probably make myself very self-conscious because I'm not doing it the way actual, like, professional crafters, like people who built the one six, I mean, the one twelve scale uh, White House and all this stuff, they, they're like, make working lights and real outlets and, like, the That's remit people much. are, in, <laughs> yeah. I think it's amazing. But I don't do stuff like that. So I just kind of, I feel like I kind of find a way to to shortcut everything. This is and, good. But you do it faster. But it, it it when it comes to like the craftsmanship of the traditional type ways of doing things, I'm never like that at all. I'm all over the place. Mm -hmm. And so I think like you talk all these terms and you research terms. the art Am I about terms? it. You do. You do all the time. And then I have to go Google things when you leave the room. I so, try not to say terms because I feel like that turns people off. No, it makes me want to learn more. Oh. But I don't think I put nearly that much thought into stuff. I just kind of do it. I also like also like learning stuff like grayscale. Like, I don't know. There's so many things in art that like, that like, I do like digital art because it can look so cool and it's so infinitely just amazing. You know what I mean? So sometimes, I mean, I do kind of overanalyze I, everything I do as well. But... For some, I don't know. I just feel like whenever, when I'm, I'm super honed and super focused on getting better, I get better faster. Well, that's good though. Self improvement is amazing, and you know. But I'm also should, never satisfied. That is not good. So. <laughs> you should definitely give yourself credit for what you've I know, done. This is the cool. And also, I'm always like, I always realize how good something is until when I lose it. So when I forgot how to like, or at least, or when I finish it, you know, when I finish a piece and I'm feeling empty and just like you feel empty. I feel so empty after finishing after finishing things and then I realize how good it is after but when I'm in the middle of something I hate it that makes me concerned what's up uh KC how you doing have you seen TMNT that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dude the was, live action was freaking amazing I saw I it when cartoon. it first came out like in the, the 80s yeah Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtles so I think I then I watched the original so. movies like the, the movies big, are cool. the big suits they used to wear, the turtle suits. Oh, the those ones. Yeah, because I was out. I'm talking about the one where they were saving New York. I watched the new one with Megan Fox. Right? Yeah, that one. Yes, I've seen that one. So I've seen the Ninja Turtles. What's up, Krista? How you doing? Isn't Krista the name of the fairy from Fern Gully? Someone said, "Do you draw animals?" I don't. I've been begging her to draw Bowie. I, I was gonna try birds first to get me started because uh 
this silkiness is kind of easy to draw. Like, you want to make the feathers look silky? I don't know if, like, you know what, what? that means. Well, okay, so, like, sometimes you look at, and I find this in a lot of, like, people who paint, paint, you know? But they find, they somehow, they get their stuff to look glossy. Well, you just add, like, a shine. Yeah, but it's, like, so weird. It's not like, you don't just add white places. It's like they build it up, obviously. Because, I mean, I figured out a way to do this with eyes. You kind of just do a white dot, you blend it out a little bit, and then you put another white dot there so it looks like it's shiny and glossy. But, yeah, glossy is, like, so nice looking. And, um... But that's not Bowie. Yeah, well, Bowie is hard because he spots... And his hair. But as his hair gets longer, it's easier to draw than, like, the weird little mohawk he had. And I don't know. I find dogs and animals in general are not are kind of difficult for me. So I think it's just because you haven't given it a try. I have no interest. Don't in we want her to draw Bowie? Me. Everyone, come on. Y'all do this. You, you gang up me against me all the time. You, you gang up against me. So let's gang up that. against Bella and kind of, like, pressure her into drawing Bowie. Pressure? <laughs> I'm like, trying to also do 3D right now. But it's like, I don't respond to pressure. I'm trying to do 3D and not thinking about it. Like, I think about art so much, but I'm like, with 3D and with graphic design, I'm just trying to keep things so consistent and simple. Like, graphic design, I, I try to make it, like, the fastest thing I could possibly do ever. So everything comes up super simple. But it's also crazy because it's consistent. Okay. So my portfolio is going to look amazing. So after 50 minutes of gluing tissue paper onto paperboard, this is as far as I've gotten. And this is why we covered it with the scrapbook paper. Just in case we couldn't finish, it still looks totally presentable. So what you're going to do with this cardstock now is we're going to take a little bit of cardstock and we're going to cut probably about an inch and in, probably about two inches roughly around there. I cut them about the same length. And then we're gonna take our cardstock and we're gonna bend it on the ends around our finger to make two little like handle type things. So we just bend it there and bend it there. All right, and we should have like, it should go flat, curve, then flat again. I'm gonna take those flat ends and <laughs> drop them on the table. Take the flat ends and glue them behind your frame. Just glue it right onto the frame in the back. I'm gonna do that because we are running out of time. Monica says, draw Bowie. You gotta do what Monica says, man. You gotta leave me some time to practice. <laughs> uh, keep, people keep saying I was on the Drew Barrymore show. I was on the Drew Barrymore show. I made a coat with Drew. She was fantastic. She was super, super nice. Someone Love said her. more WandaVision content. More Wanda. Wanda Vision is all over the place. I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, but when it first came out, I was like, "Oh my gosh, Bewitch! It's amazing!" And then it wasn't Bewitch, and then it was the next ten years. Then it just kept changing. So every episode is completely different. Um, what exactly are you looking for? Because we have like, I don't know, five, six time periods now to, to, to consider with Wanda Vision. Uh, let me know which period you are interested in. We did do a video with My Dolly Dolls, Etsy Shop, and then which was totally inspired by the first episode of WandaVision. So that video is on YouTube. You found Totally Tiny on Amazon? Yes! But did you find the new ones? I know they still have the pizza out there. I know the tacos are out there in the pancakes and the sweet shop. But I'm looking for the French stuff and the, um, the Chinese cuisine, stuff like that. So let me know if you find that. If you do, please drop me a line on Instagram. Someone asked if digital art is hard. For me, it's way easier for me. I mean, undo buttons. Oh my God. I will never go back. I will never go back. Undo buttons, layers, infinite paints, infinite colors, infinite possibilities, literally. And the cost, one time cost. I mean, yeah, honestly, it's one time cost unless you get like subscription. Yeah. Like Adobe, if you want to draw on Adobe, that's not a one-time cost. No. But Procreate, $10, you buy an iPad, you buy an Apple Pencil, and you're done. And <gasps> then you don't got to pay for your supplies until your stuff breaks or until you want something new. Or until you, know? you steal your mom's iPad and she doesn't have any of your programs. You also don't have to pay for that. But then she's like, we have family sharing, so there's that. You know? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's easier. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I, you know, started doing it. And uh, I would encourage more people to do it as well. Because it's really cool and a lot of fun. All right, so back to our craft. Once you glue your handles on, that is how you will get your dolls to hold it. You'll just put your doll's hands 
in the little things behind it. I don't know if you all can see that, but the little, the little hand brackets or straps or whatever in the back, you can slide her hands through so that she can hold or he can hold or they can hold the um, frame and take a selfie for Valentine's Day. You could probably fit more than one doll into the shot. So yeah, that's how you make a selfie frame. Yeah, we did it. It only took me 54 minutes. How do you deal with hate? Delete button, right? This is not a freedom of speech place. No. This is not free range. <laughs> we don't care about bad opinions. So, so I'm a firm believer in deleting unfriendly comments. Yeah. So just be prepared. If I delete your comment, I am sorry. I if love you. If you have nothing but... nice to say, we won't let you say anything at all. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay, we have a couple of questions we would like to get through pretty fast. Are you ready? You got these people telling me to draw both. Bowie. Someone said Legend of Zelda. Okay, I don't play it. I don't know anything about it, but oh my god, the art looks so cool and I want to draw it so bad. Even though I don't know anything about it, I should probably like... Is it, is it a cartoon? I think it's a game, isn't it? Zelda, I believe it's a game. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Everything about it looks so, so cool. Ava said the new WandaVision is amazing. Okay, do not spoil it. I hope to watch it tonight. I cannot wait to watch it tonight. Can you do custom sister sister dolls? Um, I guess we can look into that. Tia and Tamara, all the hair. We can see what we can do. But they're like tweens. And tweens are, yeah, we can see. I can so do them So have you watched Death Note? Yes, Death Note is my favorite anime of all time. I'm not gonna lie. If you can meet any famous woman from the past, who would it be? Quick answer. Quick answer. Quick answer. I can't think about that. Okay, I can't think of a famous woman. Well, technically she is. I would love to meet my grandmother. She was, she was a supermodel. She was a, not really a supermodel, but she was a model and she was in a Bruce Lee film. So technically. That's a supermodel. Technically she's famous. If you're a model so, and you're in a Bruce Lee film, you're a supermodel. No, that's not how. That's, yeah. Supermodel is actually a term. That's how my brain Applied has to certain models of now. certain levels. Yo, you but, have a model in our family and I don't look just like her. I don't look like her. So. You do. No, I don't. Very my mom. mom looks a lot like her. You look like your mom, so therefore you look like her. Yeah, I look a little different. Where you anyway, not that would be my dots. answer, because you're just like going off on a tangent. Um, if you could be on any 90s sitcom, which one would it be? 90s It sitcom. would be half and no, it would not. Sister, no, half and half. That's not 90s. But it's not 90s. Yes, but, but it 90s. would be half and half. 90s. But since it's not half and half. I would rather wait <laughs> for the next couple decades to be born another decade. Okay, if I had to pick 90s sitcom, I'm going with Fresh Actually, Prince no, I of Bel-Air. I want to be born in the 90s so I can grow, like, born in 1990 so I can grow up in the 2000s so I can be in half and half. This is supposed to be, like, fast answering. And I think you're talking slower on purpose. Yes. <laughs> okay. My 90s sitcom would be Fresh Prince. Um, what movie aesthetic do you want? What movie aesthetic would I want? Call me by your name. I'm gonna go with The Dark Crystal. No, you don't want that movie. You know what that question means? Yeah, you want your stuff to be decorated that way. To look like it was from The Dark so Crystal. So you wanna like, you wanna, that's not. Thrall. Let's really? go to Thrall. That seems so and wear like. wear armor. That seems like so punky for you. Actually, okay, I'm gonna go Star Trek. Cause it's that's how you are right now. That's that's me, Star Trek. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you could only wear one T-shirt fandom, which one would it be? One T-shirt fandom, like your whole life, you can only represent one fandom on your T-shirt. Me. My froggy stuff. We don't have T-shirts. But when we do, I'd rather just like not wear clothes. <laughs> no, it's not an option. <laughs> it's not an option. It's always an option. Not on YouTube. <laughs> of course not. But I would just like wait. I just, you just wouldn't see me until I got that stuff going. I would, okay. Assuming there was my Froggy Stuff merch out there, I would go with my Froggy Stuff. If I cannot wear my Froggy Stuff merch, I would probably go with Star Trek. So, so do you like Legend of Zelda? Somebody put me on. Is it is it a cartoon I can watch? Is it, if it's a game, I'm probably not going to play it. But I can probably watch like like spe like a gameplays. Just put me on, guys, because I really, I really want to get into it because it seems cool. If you had to relocate to another country, where would you go? South France, Canada. All right, or New Zealand, like right there. But it's cold. I would go to New Zealand. I like warm. I still go to Canada. All right. There's a guy in Grace Anatomy from New Zealand. He's cool, so I go there. What do you think about color theory? This is probably no. A question do you really for you. think about it? Do you think about color theory? Because some people, it's like a whole thing. 
And you, like, gotta think about it. I don't think about it. You just feel it? I, I just feel it, yes. Me too. Okay. Um, how long did it take you to get good at sewing? Still learning. Um, I wish I had taken... I wish I had taken... Taken? I wish I had taken sewing lessons That's from my mother. That's the word. Is that the right word? Am I, is my grammar good? Yeah. My mother tried to teach me how to sew when I was little. I passed. I wish I could go back in time and learn because I would be so much better right now. So I'm still learning. I don't consider myself really good at sewing. Um, I just consider myself a student at the moment. Someone said, do you like BTS? And someone else said, do you like Shawn Mendes? I do like BTS. Definitely an army. Uh, I've been having to distance myself from it a little bit because sometimes sis gets a little obsessed and we try to not do that. So, uh, Shawn Mendes, I don't listen to his music. Even though Wonder was good. Wonder was really good. I don't really listen to his music though. Okay. Um, the next one is, what Barbie doll do you want right now? I want the Maya Angelou Barbie because I can't find it. I missed all the pre-orders. I missed all the sales at Target. Everywhere in my area, it's sold out. It doesn't exist except for like $117 on Amazon. So yes, that's what I want right now is the Maya Angelou Barbie. Someone says Star Wars or Star Trek. Well, you know what? Star Trek. That depends. No, it doesn't. Because Star Trek. which Star Trek are we in? Star Trek. Are we in Chris Pine Star Trek? Cats and McCart. And, and or are we in... Young Harrison Ford Star Wars. We because are because if we're, if those ones are competing, that's gonna be a hard decision. No, it isn't. I don't want to be anywhere in Star Wars. Or actually, the word wars. Are we in hitting <laughs> hitting Christensen Star Star Wars? Where he turns into Darth Vader? Which one are we picking, bro? Star Trek. Because that's a hard decision. <laughs> no, it's not. Young Harrison Ford versus young Christian Hitchens. We have versus holodeck vacations on the beach with a replicator that can make food of any kind and you're in the safety of your spaceship. But I want to, I, but I got to Or you have wars. One. Wars. Explorers or wars. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your choices. I'm going with explore. Okay, shout out to Emerson. What's up? <laughs> okay, I do believe we need to start shout outs because we are at one hour. We want to give a shout out to You So Unique Loves Dolls. What's, What's up? up? Bro, you ever like cut your finger but your finger's not cut? So it's just pain for no reason? Because that's chemistry. Like literally, help. <laughs> And we stir the conversation back <laughs> to shout outs. Shout out to Denise. What's up? Shout out to... The way I make no sense, but also makes sense. Andrea, what's up? Friends Forever, what's up? The Toya Vlog, what's up? Vanessa, what's up? Mimi Koblen, what's up? Shout out to Brazil. What's up? Vanessa Bellum, what's up? Karen C, what's up? Brittany Barbie World, what's up? Uh, hello Toy World, what's up? Spaghetti X Anna Sia, what's up? Jenny Stone, what's up? Uh, <laughs> shout out to <laughs> it's going by so fast. Ava Barnhart, what's up? Heather Bratcher, what's up? Uh, American Doll Lover, what's up? Luna Cat Art, number 13, what's up? Um, Mary Dina, what's up? Phoebe Goo, what's up? Uh, Anaya McClinton, what's up? Amy, what's up? Two more, L Burkett, what's up? And a shout out to Brazil. What's up? That. You already said Brazil? My bad. You got to be more animated. I don't hear you. Okay, then um, which one? Kay Kaylin Booker. Kaylin Booker, what's up? Thank you everyone for joining us this week on YouTube Live with Toya and Bella while you crafted along with us. And we made a miniature. What are these called? Selfie frames. So we hope you all have a fantastic Valentine's Day and enjoy the craft. Post lots of pictures on Instagram using hashtag MyFroggySuffFanPics. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. Check out her newest video, Frog Food, on YouTube right now. And we will see all of you next time tomorrow. 
we have a video. The video is the jewelry store. It's a DIY jewelry store inspired by Tiffany and Co. We hope you all enjoy it. We love you and we'll see you next week.